Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to use Airtable Generative AI to create introductions and cover images for a table of blog posts. So in order to begin, you want to have your table set up titled as blog posts and then under name input all of your blog post titles. So now for this notes field, we're going to retitle this as introduction and select save. Now we're going to create a new grid view. So over to this left hand side, select the plus symbol and we're going to title this as needs introduction. Select create new view. And now you need to select the filter option to add two conditions that we want to read where name is not empty and introduction is empty, just like so. So this needs introduction view will ensure we only generate introductions for blog posts that don't have any. Now for this, we are going to set up our chat GPT request. So up here in the extensions option, select this, then we're going to select add an extension. And now we're going to search for data fetcher in this search bar that will pop up and you can select add, select add extension. And now you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. You'll arrive to the following screen and this is where we want to import our data. So select create your first request. Under application, we're going to search for open AI and that will pop up just like so. Then under authorization, you will want to add your open AI API key. So you can find that simply by clicking on the click here button and that will bring you directly to your open AI API keys. Then once you have that copied, you can come back to your Airtable base and paste it in here. Then for the end point, we're going to select create chat message completion. And before we move to the next step, we need to retitle this as fetch blog post introductions. Once you've done that, you can select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner and we'll arrive to the following page. Now, for model, we do want this selected as GPT 4.0, so we're going to leave that like so. So under messages, this is where we're going to add our prompts. So we're going to need to add a system prompt, which tells the AI how to behave and respond to our prompts. And so in order to do this, you can head over to the blog on this exact topic on our datafetcher.com website, and you can scroll down to find this piece of text if you want to just copy this exact tutorial. So we're going to copy the following text system. You are a writing and publishing expert, paste that into the input box and press enter. And now we want to tell the AI what we want it to do. So we're going to head back to that blog post and we're going to copy the next piece of text, which is write a short introduction to a blog post with the title. Now don't press enter because we need to add in a table reference. So in order to do this, you want to head over to the right hand side, select that plus symbol. And now from the field, we're going to select name. Then under run for every record in view, we want for this to read as needs introduction and we can select confirm. Now we need to add the rest of this prompt. The more detailed instructions we add in our prompts, the more accurate content can be produced by AI. So we're going to head back to our blog post so that we can copy the following piece of text. And we want to make sure we copy this entire piece, including the full stops. And this reads full stop, do not include the article title in the paragraph full stop. So we're going to paste this here and now we can press enter. Now we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now being created. Here we arrive to our response field mapping screen. And this is where we can decide which fields we'd like to have included in our Airtable base. The only field that we would like for this particular request is this message field, and that is already selected. So you're going to want to map this to an existing field. So click on that. And then from the drop down menu, select introduction, then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And Data Fetcher is now populating the introduction field with the text generated from OpenAI. Select Show Output Table. And then you can close this little window over to the right and select Grid View back to that main grid view. And you will see here that this introduction has now been generated. But now we want to have that cover image generated as well. So in order to do this, we are going to retitle the following field as image with the type attachment, select save. And then we're going to create a new grid view. So click on that plus symbol again. And for this one, we're going to title it as needs image, select create new view, click on that filter option in the top bar and add two conditions here. And we want for this to read where name is not empty from that drop down menu and image is empty, just like so. Simple. Click off of that and open up your extensions option again. And this will automatically open that data fetcher extension. So now we're going to create a new request. So select this create request button in the top right hand corner, search for open AI. And as you can see under authorization, that API key input 
is automatically populated with your OpenAI API key. So we're going to retitle this request as fetch cover images. And for the endpoint, we're going to select create an image from a prompt, then select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. And now again, we're going to give the AI two instructions like we did earlier. So under this prompt option, we can head back to the blog post and copy this piece of text, create an artistic cover image for a blog post about this topic, come back to your Airtable Base, paste it into the prompt box. Now we need to add a table reference. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this plus symbol again, and we're going to select this. And from the pop-up menu, we want for this to read field name. And for the run for every record in view, we want to have this selected as needs image. Then you can select confirm. So this should now look like so. Now we need to add in the final piece of instruction for that prompt. So head back over to that blog post and you can copy this here. Make sure you include the full stops. Full stop, do not add any text to the image, full stop, and bring that back into your Airtable to paste into this input box. Perfect. Now for the model, we want to select DALI 3. And for the size, we're going to select 1,792 times 1,024 for that landscape image. Then we're going to select more options for this open AI endpoint and under style select vivid. Then you can press the save and run button in the right hand corner. And again, our fields are being created and we'll arrive to the response field mapping and we're wanting for this to map to the existing fields and for that to be image with this little attachment, but that happened automatically for us. Now you can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner, select show output table, close that little window over and head back to your grid view. And as you can see, these images have now been generated. So here we have getting started with nonfiction writing. You can open that up and that is just so awesome. So hopefully today you have learned how to use Airtable Generative AI, but if you wanted a little summary of how to do this, you can head over to our blog where we have this exact topic if you prefer to learn that way. But we also have a summary of the key steps here at the bottom of this blog as well. And again, if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.